Welcome back everybody. Got an ammunition test today. This ammunition was donated by a viewer named Craig Walker. Thank you Craig for the donation. This is from Monolithic Munitions. This is match grade ammunition as you saw from those opening shots. That's Lapua brass. That's some nice looking brass. This is a 40 grain high velocity GS custom bullet. Sporting some pretty high velocities on the label there from a 24 inch barrel. We'll run three across our standard barrel lengths, 10, 16, and 20 inch. If these have decent velocity, Craig requested to see how they perform in gel and against some hard armor. So I have a level three and a level three plus plate to test today, because as we know, speed will kill steel body armor. Some bullet construction is necessary, but if you have enough speed, you can definitely defeat it. Chronograph is at approximately 12 feet. It's 40 degrees outside today and chilly. So up first is our 10 inch barrel. Twenty-nine oh four, twenty-eight sixty-seven, twenty-eight sixty-one. That's pretty fast. Now our sixteen-inch barrel. This has a one and nine twist. For those who don't follow my channel, thirty-three ninety-two. 3375 3367 And now the 20 inch barrel. This also is a 1 in 9 twist. 3499 34.99. Well, those 40 grain velocities are almost faster than the 30 grain SS190 pulls that we do. So let's get the briefcase set up and we'll get some armor strapped on there and see what's going to happen. All right, we got our clay briefcase set up. I like to use the clay behind it so there is some compressible media. We're not going to measure back face today. Uh, the clay's a little on the cold side so it doesn't give you a good representation. The briefcase is set at 45 feet. We have the chronograph for velocity reading. We'll take a shot with the 16 inch and the 20 inch. And if we get a penetration, we'll step up to a level three plus. The level three that is on there is a caddy. Velocity was 34.01. Now for the 20 inch. Thirty-four sixty-three. Here's our shot from the 16 inch. Here's our shot from the 20. What do you guys think? Uh oh, no pass through. There's not even a dimple on the back side of the plate there. Well, that was a little disappointing. I would have figured with that velocity, the bullet construction wouldn't have mattered that much, but maybe they're not using a hard enough copper. I know the wound channels tested that 50 grain TSX to go through some steel body armor, so construction wise, maybe that GS bullet just doesn't have what it takes. But fret not, we're not done with our testing. All right, we've got our clear ballistics gel block set up at about 15 feet. It's a six by six 
by 16 inch block. Calibration was 588 feet per second at like three and a quarter, I think. I'll double check the notes, annotate below if it's different. We'll take a shot out of the 16 inch barrel and see what's gonna happen. Velocity was 3384. Well, here are our results. Almost instant neck there. You can see some fragmentation going on in the first couple of inches. And the little BB there is our calibration BB. Still have a pretty good sized wound cavity going throughout here. We see something split off there, continues to penetrate, calms down a little bit. Our first milk jug has been penetrated. Second milk jug has been penetrated. And we're into the third milk jug. Give me a few moments and I'll pull the remains out of the third jug. There's an upside down left side of the wound. Here's a bottom down shot. It's kind of hard to see. This block has been reused a few times, but you can see some fragments there. Fragment here, travel down here, here's another fragment. There's another one right there in the block. And another one there almost at the end of the block. So it's got fragmentation all throughout 16 inches. Interesting. You can kind of see down, no, not really. Time for a new gel block, eh? There's our recovered base out of the third jug. Looks like the top half are the petals that frag off and you're left with the base as a penetrator. Probably why it got so deep in those milk jugs. We'll get some measurements on that in the stills. Those are some pretty hot velocities for a 40 grain projectile. Now they do claim match grade. I was expecting the velocity figures to be a little closer. Now obviously my chronograph is not a match grade or high end chronograph, but we've gotten duplicates before. Couldn't penetrate level three body armor, which really isn't a big deal. It's always a curiosity with the velocity. Our gel results show more than 16 inches of penetration with fragmentation through entire 16 inches of gel. That's pretty neat. Thanks to Craig for donating this ammunition. I have a few rounds left, so if there's anything else you guys want to see, let me know. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Until next time, take it easy, everybody.